Good morning. Today we're going to talk about getting dressed. This can be very difficult for people with dementia because um, oftentimes, well, first, first of all, most people with dementia are elderly. Some are young, uh, but most of them are elderly. And so just naturally, by getting old, they're going to lose some coordination skills. But people with dementia tend to lose more coordination skills than the average senior citizen. And um, their skin may be fragile, their movements may be more robotic or stiff. So um, just be uh, very careful when you're helping them get dressed. Um, one thing I'd like to really point out is that it can be very difficult putting on underwear, uh, especially putting on uh, bras. So women who need help, um, putting on bras can be very, very difficult. So you'll have to be very careful with that. And um, because you don't want your loved one to become combative, you know, because of it being difficult for them to, to get that particular undergarment on. You might want to make sure that you have easy to put on sweaters or shawls or jackets that have zippers for your loved one to wear. Um, they're gonna, they stay cold. And so make sure that if they do need a sweater, it's easy for them to put on. Choose loose fitting clothes for them to wear and choose clothes that have zippers and snaps instead of buttons. Uh, as far as pants are concerned, choose elastic waistband pants because over time they are definitely going to have difficulty zipping up pants and buttoning up the pants. So it'll just be easier on everyone to have elastic waistband pants. As far as shoes are concerned, if they don't have any trouble, you know, tying laces, that's great. Go ahead and don't interfere with that. But if they're beginning to have trouble tying their shoelaces, then consider getting shoes that have Velcro closures. Um, you, can, you can do a quick Amazon search for um, uh, Velcro shoes for men, Velcro shoes for women, and they have plenty that are attractive and, and very affordable. One thing that you're definitely going to have to do is declutter their closet. People already have too many clothes in their closets that they never wear. But um, this can really be a problem for people with dementia because they don't need a whole bunch of over overwhelming choices to make when it comes to getting dressed. So while they're not around, uh, you definitely want to sneak and do this, but while they're not around, um, take clothes out of their closets that they don't wear. Um, and sometimes, you know, in the mornings, you may have to lay their clothes out. If you do have to do that to help them um, to help them get dressed, just take clothes out one piece at a time in the order that you want them to put the clothes on. So take out the socks, help them get on the socks or let them put the socks on. Then take out the pants. Okay, you get it. It's common for people with dementia to just keep adding layers of clothes uh, after they've gotten dressed. So don't argue with them. Just let them add those layers, but also make sure that they don't get overheated. Also, um, a lot of times people with dementia want to wear the same clothes over and over again, and that can be really uh, annoying for you. So um, just go ahead and let them wear what they want to wear. Uh, don't argue, reason, or explain. They're not going to understand. They're just going to want to do what they want to do. Uh, so when the clothes get soiled or if they start getting smelly, just sneak and take them away from them and wash them and put them back. Uh, remove dirty clothes from the room as well. So, and finally, when they're getting dressed or, you know, when don't be in a hurry to try to help them get dressed. Uh, let them do as much as they possibly can for themselves. And because you don't want to take that kind of control away from them. You don't want them to think that you're treating them like a baby. So let them get dressed to the extent that they can. And what I've learned in my situation is that if they struggle, you know, and if they need help, they will ask for help. So I hope this helps.
You take care and continue to spread the word about our group. We're up to 150 members right now. So I'm really excited about that. And I'm glad that this group is helping others. So take care.